In this session, we'll look at a way to apply a margin of error to a swept path created using Autodesk vehicle tracking. On my screen is some geometry representing a proposed commercial site plan. Within this site plan, I have performed a swept path analysis to ensure that a WB40 semi-trailer can successfully navigate behind these storefronts to make deliveries. If we look closely, we can see that this maneuver will be a tight fit. Now, based on these path envelopes, I have proven that the vehicle can make this turn. However, my proof leaves very little margin for error. Basically, I'm saying that the driver will need to be near perfect to avoid hitting these curb lines. To give me a more realistic appraisal of this maneuver, I'd like to add a buffer or offset to the envelope to allow for some imperfection on behalf of the vehicle, driver, or conditions. To add the offset, I will select the swept path, and then in the Vehicle Tracking Ribbon tab, here in the Review panel, I'll click the Properties button. In the Properties dialog box, I'll select Reports. Now, reports are a lot like Civil 3D styles. They control the appearance of your swept paths. I will then expand Report 1, which is the default report or style assigned to your paths. From here, I'll choose Body Outline, and then I'll click Edit. And if you look right here, you can see that we can create as many as two offsets if we want. I'm going to choose Offset Envelope 1. I will then click to show the envelope and then I can enter my desired offset. For this example, we'll type 1.5. Down below, I can control the display properties of the offset geometry. For color, let's go with something dark. I'll choose Pen 98. And then for line type, let's choose Hidden. I will then click OK, OK, and I'll press Escape. Using this offset, I can see a more realistic driving envelope. I can then use the offset to help modify the curb line geometry to ensure that my design vehicle can comfortably make this maneuver. It's important to note that the offset I created will apply to this path only. If you'd like to apply an offset to all future swept paths, you'll want to visit the Swept Paths panel and click the Report Wizard button. From here, choose Advanced. This brings up the same dialog box we saw earlier. I'm going to collapse some of these properties. Inside Report 1, I'll click Body Outline. I'll choose Edit. We'll go to Offset Envelope 1. I'll turn it on. And then I'm going to use a smaller measurement this time so we can see the difference. I'll go with 0.5. For the color, let's choose 98. And we'll go with the hidden line type again. I will then click OK and OK and Finish. And now if I create a new swept path, for instance, I'm going to choose Auto Drive Arc, and I'll select that same WB40 vehicle from the drawing pool. I'll choose Proceed, and then I'll place one of these on the screen, and I'll drive out here a little bit and press Enter and Escape. And when I zoom in, we can see that new offset geometry. As a side note, if you'd like more information about creating, editing, or applying these swept path reports, I have created a recording that will get you started. I'll leave a link to that video in the description for this one. So the next time you are creating a swept path, remember that nobody's perfect. By simply adding an offset to the path envelope, you can evaluate swept paths that more closely represent the inaccuracies of real-world driving maneuvers. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.